Hey guys, Stilt here. Quick tutorial video today about something that I have been struggling with for ages and maybe you have been too. The laser transceiver. How the hell do you use these things and build them onto a turret? Or at least make sure you have a small-ish turret that receives all the laser transceiver energy and then uses that to fire the weapon. Well, this is the way that you can do it. I'm not saying it's the only way, but it's the way that works for me. You start out with a multi-purpose laser. This, uh, for me, is a test platform, but you can have this, let's say, at the bottom of your ship, deep inside the hull where all the connectors are going to be. Um, for room requirements, I'm going to make sure that this thing is oriented sideways. This is the only thing that you're going to be building for now. Then, you build a transceiver and you put it right on top of the multi-purpose laser source. This way, it's going to be pointing its energy upwards, so we need something to receive it on the top there. Moving up, you take a metal block, beam 2, and you um, sort of encapsulate this thing. Now you can of course build around this with connectors and couplers, so that doesn't really matter. But the thing that does matter is building the turret, and for me this is going to be a one axis turret, right above the connector there. It um, can be off to the side, but the important thing is that the laser transceiver that's going to be on the turret doesn't rotate. So if I were to build the turret there, the block would start to rotate and the transceiver wouldn't work. Moving on, you take the laser connector, or you la take a laser coupler, it doesn't really matter which, and we're going to be building a small area where you can actually stick in one of those transceivers. It looks really, really weird, I know, but it does work. Then you take another transceiver, and you make sure that thing points down, so it is connected to this laser connector. You can see laser transceiver, transmitter and receiver connected to laser multipurpose ID 5879er. And that is this one down here. Now let's add a laser combiner and you can pick which block you want to have for that. If you want to make sure that this turret isn't going to be sticking out above your platform, your ship, your aircraft, whatever, too much, then you can just stick it on there. Make sure you armor it up later. For now, let's um, expand on this laser a little bit. Let's have a couple of optics on it, like that. A couple of steering optics to at least have some up and down mobility. Sideways is not a problem, but up and down against aircraft could be useful. Now, that is all that I'm going to be building on the turret. Next, we're going back to the hull. This is where the actual laser energy is going to be stored. So let's go with a couple of connectors put in mirror mode like that putting in a couple of couplers and finally we're going to be adding some cavities like that and then some laser pumps to make sure this thing actually gets energy there now it won't do that much damage it's only uh, at eight continuous damage at the moment especially considering the fact that my uh, engine isn't that good on this platform is just a test platform but right now this turret will move it will fire and I'm not going to be going into the specifics of building an exact laser or laser platform or laser uh, system there are way better videos on that I might be doing one of my own later but for now what we have is a working small turret consisting of only a few blocks so that this area can stick out of a ship whereas the rest of the area is uh, perfectly hidden below your hull. And that's how you do it. That's how you use the laser transceiver. Now what I mentioned earlier is that if you have the laser transceiver in a slightly different area, it won't work. If this thing is not aligned perfectly with the laser transceiver below it, it's going to say, oh, I'm disconnected. Because right now it's going to be looking towards this block here. And you can sort of do that, but it doesn't really align that well. Having it aligned directly in line with the turret almost always works. And you can actually have quite a few layers of armor between this to make sure that the thing stays at least relatively safe. So make sure that the laser transceiver is pointed down on the turret and up on the block that you have down here. Now you can also go with a multi-purpose or sorry, with a connector or um, a coupler as the block instead of the multi-purpose laser, which by the way says multi-purpose laser. I think there's a typo there from the dev. 
but this way it works. Now let's have a look at how that can look in a ship. I have a laser destroyer that I have been testing. Um, it's by no stretch of the imagination complete, but it does show you how this thing can work. Now this is my giant laser storage system. Engine blew out there. Um, a lot of laser cavities, a lot of laser pumps, and a couple of both Q switches, destabilizers, and frequency doublers. The only thing that's actually moving is this. That's all. Now let's make sure that I actually have some laser systems on there. Um, once again, we're going to go with a couple of optics. And really, is it, this is just a test. This is just to show you how it can look in a ship. Because the advantage that I now have is that I only maneuver a very small portion of this turret. The only thing that's moving is this. So I don't have to bother about things being below decks that might have to rotate. And that way you can actually have a ton of energy and a ton of laser parts stored below decks. Let's spawn in a marauder. Where is said marauder? There we go. And you can see that the laser damage is starting to ramp up. It's by no means a completed ship, but it does work. And especially if you complete a ship like this and you have all of the weapon systems completed, you have all of the hull completed, then this is actually quite a safe design because unlike magazines or ammo storages, these things actually don't blow up. They just get damaged. And of course, if the chain at the start gets damaged, that could be a problem because it will disrupt the entire rest of the chain. So make sure you armor up your hull appropriately. Anyway, that's it for the laser transceiver. I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on it because I have been trying to fix this thing for days and there were no real clear answers on how to do it, but this is what turns out to be working. Point one transceiver down, in your deck, point one transceiver up, right below the turret base, and you can see the turret base is, if I just take away one block here, is right there. Connector, make sure you milled a sort of smallish round thing, let's say a C, and then add the transceiver and you're done. That's it. And that makes your laser turrets all the more small. Instead of having those huge rotating blocks like you would have with either an APS system, a cram cannon system, or any other kind of turret that you may come up with. Anyway, hope that was helpful. If it was, please give it a like so I know that this was actually something that you may have been struggling with too. If you have any questions, let me know. And if you have any great designs on how to build your own laser ships, feel free to share those in the comments down below by linking to, uh, for example, a link to the ICS or the, uh, or is that the right term? The STL file which is the blueprint file. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I hope you can make use of this in your designs. Good luck designing, and I'll see you soon for more from the depths.